Hello, welcome to Let's Try. It's uh, gonna be a weird one, but uh, it's, I, it's always a little bit of a weird one. And honestly, my favorite Let's Tries are the ones that are difficult to introduce. So um, we're gonna be playing uh, Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Um, this is a really cool game. <laughs> this is a really, really cool game. And I am very grateful I discovered it and um uh, that i also get to introduce you to it now I, uh, I didn't know that this cutscene was going to be the next thing that happens in this game. I promise this game is actually really good. And to be fair, uh, I actually dig these parts of the game. The A lot of the major cutscenes are uh, voice acted. I have the dubs on. I'm not sure if subs are an option, but it is usually something I opt into. This is the longest cutscene outside of the introduction cutscene I have gotten for this game. So this is this is really good. All right. So that cutscene went on for way longer than I thought it would. Um, but here here we are actually at uh, what uh, I generally <laughs> what I actually do in this game. So this game has two parts. I'm going to cover the first part here, but it's going to be peppered in with the second part. Um, pretty pretty irregularly but for the time being first we have a farming game this farming game is no joke it's actually one of the best farming games i've ever played um and what i really mean is that it's one of the more immersive one of the more um i i, I don't want to say accurate because of course things are gamified but it feels like it's the one of the few farming games I've played that really takes farming seriously um, and isn't like harvest moonified if uh, if I can say that without it sounding like I'm I'm really kind of uh, pooping on the genre. I, I'm not. I, I like I, I like a harvest moon in its place, but this is this is something I haven't seen all that often. Um, we are farming rice primarily. There isn't really a lot of crop options, at least not that I have seen so far. But that being said, we have to manage everything when it comes to these uh, the the rice. We have to manage how close we plant them. We have to manage the uh, fertility of the soil, which you can see here. Um, we have to make our own fertilizer. And yes, that is exactly what it sounds like. In fact, I'm going to go do that now because uh, I'm pretty sure... Do we already have one go in here uh oh we do so this is a fertilizer that i made mixing a couple of ingredients with you know what and i'm gonna go ahead and spread that so that should improve the quality or the um the uh how, how good that fertilizer is we'll see how that affects it later then we're going to talk to this guy this guy knows all about rice but he's not actually a very good farmer that's his kind of gimmick we have another cutscene. Oh my god. Lady Sukuna, look here. Not everything is voice acted, but enough of it is. Is that a scroll? Where did you find such a thing? In the corner of the storehouse. I imagine it was originally on the shelves, but it must have fallen off at some point. Lady Toyohana's handwriting. Could it be a letter addressed to me? It's an instruction manual on field work. Does my interest evaporate so much? <laughs> like so much morning dew. No, listen, the information compiled here is incredible. Some places have faded or been eaten away, making it hard to decipher, but doubtless it is unequaled in its description of different farming techniques. Lady Toyohama, Hannah uh, truly was meticulous. So my mother was also an eccentric. If we apply the wisdom within these scrolls to our farming practices, our problems are sure to vanish into thin air. We shall dub it the Arg Agricultural Assembly. Speak with me anytime you wish to re ruminate on the art of farming. Uh, sure, if I feel like it. So we have apparently gotten a lot of information about 
Uh, it looks like I know a lot of that stuff. It might be that it's just kind of recapping a bunch of stuff that I've heard. But uh, yeah, we're going to be growing this crop of rice. Uh, and like when I say we control how closely we plant it, we have like almost too much control. We, we have to actually like manually place every single rice. So that can feel like a lot. Um, but then, you know, once it's planted, we're, we're kind of done for the day. Um, and we're going to go to the next part of this game. But for the time being, uh, we're going to go ahead and eat some food because the day is over and we don't want to entertain the second part of this game at nighttime because it's too dangerous. The seasons in Yanato are very beautiful. I like different food for different seasons. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We'll process some ingredients. No, we won't process any ingredients. We don't have any. I would usually choose what we're eating, but this time I'm just going to let it... Um, let the chips lay. I talked with uh, Ashigumo today. There's always a conversation at uh, nighttime, so you get to get to know the characters a little bit more. The characters are defined. I won't say I, I think they're they're good, but they um, you know they are a little bit surface level at times. There's some good stuff in here though. Uh, we've got a kind of um, feudal-ish Japan-ish mytho mythology uh, where we have like the gods, uh, you know, mingling. Uh, sorry, sort of not mingling. Sorry, we have the gods in their own realm, and then we have humans in their own realm. And the uh, everyone here is a human except for the one with the the butterfly hair bun. Okay, so she's a god, but she's kind of a lesser, like you know, smaller god. Um, but she's a harvest god. Okay, you, you with me so far? Uh, humans found their way to the gods realm uh, by accident, and then they went to the harvest. They shouldn't have, and then um, Sakuna here, the, the Harvest God, was punished because she accidentally let them through and, and they ate a bunch of food and it was a big disaster, okay? So she's been punished by, uh, by being sent to this island that is infested with demons, and she's got to do her own farming now, and she's got to take care of these humans. The humans weren't really punished, they were kind of ignored, but, you know, they're with her and... We're learning about them, and we're learning about her, and we're learning about farming in general. Um, so that's the long short of the story so far. Uh, so there's like, you know, nice little kind of tidbits of uh, mythology and how the world works and how the, uh, you know, the different realms work. And then we also learn about the human's uh, personality and, and what they're all about. So I talked about Ashigamo. Uh, she, he, he calls this place Hino, not the Isle of Demons. Indeed, only those who dwell in the capital refer to it as the Isle, Isle of Demons. It is only natural that the Ashigumo who were born here would not refer to their own island by such a name. Oh, then uh, why did those in the capital start calling it the Isle of Demons? The previous lady, uh, Kamu, huh, Kamu Hitsuki, labeled it such a, in a fit of anger after she was unable to keep it under control. The same is true of the name Ashigumo, which means hidden among reeds. It is merely a name given to them because they hid and attacked from behind reeds when troops from the capital came to the island. Lord uh, Takaribi continued to refer to them as such, so they adopted the name for themselves. But I would suggest learning their original name. Hino means, or is it Hinoe? Means blessing of the sun. Yes, a fine name indeed. How about it? We are making a living on this land after all. Calling it Hinoe uh, rather than the dreaded Isle of Demons may serve to raise our morale. That is an uncharacteristically good idea coming from you. What do the rest of you think? I have no objections. Yeah, I like Hinoe name. Yeah, the old name kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies. If I think of this place as Hinoe, maybe I'll start seeing things in a new light. Yeah, then it is decided. From now on, we... Sh okay, so we... Uh, oh, oh, kind of a... a Anime tropism, maybe uh, you have a lot of sentences to really say very little, but yeah, I mean, sure. So you might notice that we have some stats on the left side there. We're going to see what those refer to. I I'm, you know, beating around the bush here a little bit, but there's a combat um, aspect to this game. You've expanded the fields to encompass the area below the pass. You have my gratitude. Speaking of which, how should I handle the expanded fields? I request that you continue looking after the fields in the past here as before. The others and I will tend to the new land. 
We will imitate whatever methods you use for the fields in the past, so let us hope for a multiplied harvest come fall. Very well. I must say I am impressed by how well you managed to plant the rice this time. My opinion of you has elevated. Petitioning the others for help and training intensely during the winter has was well worth it. I had given up, half given up on myself thinking I had no aptitude, but I am glad I stuck with it. Your plight is unknowable to me. We gods are blessed with abundant talent from birth. An enviable station indeed. I have more training to do if I am here, uh, am to reap us a bounti bounteous fall harvest. Time is short. You're getting a little ahead of yourself there. But I suppose an oaf like you should be making the most of your time. Keep at it, blockhead. Jeez. Thank you very much. Um, Sukuna here is not shy about the fact that she is a god and she's having to take care of humans, so she's not really, um, super humble, but that's maybe part of the story is it's going to humble her and probably continue to humble her. Are right, you have more to say? Oh my god. More cutscenes. My goodness. We have a bunch of new fields, but from the looks of it, all of the fields are affected by how well I tend to this field. And you can see now the fertilizer has uh, improved here. So the rice fields, you know, you got to take care of them every day. And most of the time, I uh, the, the rice fields are something I do in the off time. And then in the on time, I am uh, out doing some adventuring. So we can check out Hare's Nest to Knoll. I haven't been here before, so it's probably a mistake to check out a new area first. But, uh, you know, let's give it a go. So this is the combat part of this game, and it's no slouch either. Nothing about this game is really done in half measures. So... It, the combat itself is actually pretty robust. We have a grappling hook, we have a uh, quick attack, and then we have a heavy attack, and we have about 50 other things. Hold on, I'm struggling here. I'm really struggling here. Okay. Um, we've got a bunch of special attacks that we can use, and I, I think what happened here is I accidentally swapped around my controls by accident, and that just serves me right. Fighting skills. I'm pretty sure this needs to be circle. No. Oil droplet. I don't even know what that is. All right, let's try this. Yeah, so there we have um, special skills that we uh, define ourselves. And honestly, there's a lot of button combinations that will feel a little bit intimidating at times. But uh, these are our, all of our fighting skills that um, are a combination of direction and circle. A little bit kind of like uh, Super Smash Brothers. And then we have Raymond skills, and these are all involving the, uh, the grappling hook. And we can kind of see how that looks. So uh, generally speaking, all of them are like follow-up. So once I... Um, oh. once I have someone grappled, I can press a directional key to, like, follow up with something. And I'm really struggling because I have these jerks on the right here shooting me with arrows. I almost always try and deal with the ranged guys first because they are a real pain in the butt. We're, uh, gaining a lot of resources by going on these little adventures as well as other things like a uh, scroll attributes to uh, acquired not sure what that's going to do we can have a look different enemies are weak to different attack attributes an orange damage display means the attack is effective so i don't think i am using this but i think um it will come into effect later um those scrolls are kind of how i've gotten a lot of these skills i'm just wondering if i've gotten any new fighting skills then we have equipment. <laughs> the equipment is actually our farming equipment, and we can get better farming equipment. Um, I have upgraded a couple of these. These also have, like, latent abilities that we'll unlock as we complete little quests. Like I say, nothing about this game is done in half measures. This is a, this is a really robust game. You are, like, if... 
Uh, you know what? This is really bugging me. Sorry. We've got our arraignment. This should be R2. There we go. Um, you're you're gonna like this is this is this game's a mouthful. It's it's a lot, and I'm really struggling with it at the time being. Um, you're you're gonna like want to get into the combat and actually like learn it properly. Um, it's it's not unlike Smash Brothers in a lot of ways, but there's maybe a bit more going on since there's only the one character. But yeah, like you, the combination you have with the grappling hook in, uh, as well as like hitting enemies into other enemies is pretty robust. The uh, movement is pretty fluent. The only thing I've had, the only problems I've had, are in maybe like the direction that my character is facing is not always super obvious. But I've kind of come to get used to it trying to there we go if i press up after i grapple then i can like fling the enemy away which is pretty cool there are bosses i've fought exactly one boss so far this is the uh like an area these generally these offer rewards if i like follow through i don't have to stay here i like i'm not trapped here but um it's worth doing these and since this is a new stage i have to find the end of the stage in order to leave it but after after i've uh, found the end of the stage then when i come back here oh god then i can leave whenever i want that was really rough and that wasn't even the end oh yeah it was is that the end there we go Okay, so that flag indicates that I've now found the end of the stage and now I can leave and I will leave Because I was almost dead um, I can enter like, you know, there's still more time in the day. I could go check out something else I could go to dancing mushroom woods, which is a place I've visited before um, Health is persistent, but you do recover a little bit as you can see up there I, I've come to know this place pretty well and I know what like you'll get to know um, Which what to expect from certain stages as well as like what kind of resources you can expect You'll also come to know what kind of resources you're really gonna need to progress um, This includes things like building new uh, houses and stuff and new equipment for your humans to use um, Which will help you in the long run uh, like for instance a smithing house someone needed a forge and that was once I built it, I was able to, um, I was able to upgrade my, uh, equipment. You'll have to forgive me. It's a little bit hard to talk while I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. And that's part of why I'm not doing very well right now. I'm just gonna fling those birds into the, uh, stratosphere. I like these bouncy mushrooms. They're not bouncy up and down. They're bouncy left and right, which is novel. Oh, I have a I have a little bit of trouble in this zone. I won't lie Oh, I got an achievement achieve a crash combo of three Wow, I, they just refused to um, get grappled The grappling is usually pretty good about auto targeting I like to, like, definitely um, smacking enemies into other enemies is, like, very much the, the play in this game. But yeah, all of this is getting me resources. Like, killing these kind of rabbit demons is getting me meat, which I can preserve later. Oh, this is... Oh, none of this is very good right now, and I have not taken care of that ranged unit. Okay, I, I gotta I might actually die here dying uh, if you're wondering what the consequences for death is You basically like just Start from where you started the stage like there isn't really any loss of resources except what you've already acquired So like the, everything that I've acquired in this like 
when I, as soon as I joined or uh, jumped into the mushroom forest, I would lose all of that, but like nothing else. So I could just go in and try again. And uh, something I do appreciate is that there is like basically no consequence for like hitting the pause, jumping out. You get to keep everything you earned. Uh, and then we can like, you know, head home. You may might even be encouraged for doing so. So like if you're just having a rough time, you could just like leave just to hit the bricks. There's going to be more recovery items later, I'm sure. Um, and like then you come back and uh, tend to your field and like the way like how well you're managing the rice field actually has a tangible like benefit to the combat aspects because you're uh you're not just a harvest god like you are the harvest god in terms of like uh rice and you know farming in general so like depending on how much rice you get and how well the rice was farmed you will actually like gain power um that's kind of like the the story aspect of this which is kind of interesting so i've only um reaped in one harvest of rice but that was enough to level me up like quite a few times and um, that was pretty cool because then like the earlier aspects the earlier levels that I was having trouble with were no longer a problem So there's a there's some interesting stuff going on there So, um, let's do let's like have a look at the fertilizer because I noticed that our fertilizer could be better uh, and we, we just want to make sure that we're getting all the uh, All the weeds We're gonna go and scoop the poop scoopity poop, you know just like uh, like our old friend Yeezy said, scoop that poop. First, throw in a base component. So um, this is this aspect. It's a, it's interesting. Um, I haven't fully. Uh, I don't have a fully like formed grasp of how to uh, manage this yet. But you can see, um, depending on which ingredient I add here, it's it's um, tending to different nutrients of the soil. So uh, if I add in beast manure, then it's going to improve the kernel fertilizer. If I add in fallen leaves, it's going to improve the root fertilizer. And then the leaf is the beast hoof, right? So um, I only need to improve those three a little bit, so 20%. But then we need to add in amber to kind of improve how much those ingredients are actually doing. So I can add in more ingredients to improve it more, or I can add in more amber to like make it more potent if that kind of makes sense and then you want to try and like find a right a, a good balance that ensures that you're not using up too much of your resources um because you you want to do this basically every day so that's pretty good um if i wanted to be like really strict about this i could maybe do one more root fertilizer and we can decrease our amber just to see like how we can push our, our luck here a little bit but that looks pretty good and uh yeah we'll return so that's gonna take like a day i think that that's it right yeah so we we that's gonna take a day in order to like develop we can go and do another run i think might be okay with this the sun is just barely getting set so why don't we go to skipping stone hill we still have to get a treasure there but i don't think i have the necessary um abilities to get that yet but this one's got we, this the, the gimmick here is we got stones here that we can knock into uh walls and stuff also you might have noticed those like spiky uh spiky stones those are actually resources as well if we knock enemies into them sometimes they'll shatter and we'll get to some materials for doing that so there's a there's it's actually like this game is quite deep there's a lot of stuff going on there's a lot of resources that are not like super obvious right away but like coming to these levels um you you you're coming here to gain resources to build up your farm and you're building up your farm to um improve your combat prowess so that you can get more resources so those those two gameplay loops although they i would say that um, it's fair to say that they clash really hard, but like, I think that's the point, right? Like, and I, I am, I'm actually like, I, I didn't know how much I needed this dissonance of gameplay, 
I love, I, I do like farming. I like the kind of cozy, you know, and I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that word, but like, I like the cozy aspects of farming, of like not worrying too much about, you know, how well I'm performing. Um, but like, I, you know, I, I appreciate that there's depth there. I appreciate that there is a technical kind of like skill involved in like making your crops as good as they can be but you know there's got to be a re reward for doing so right um but then having a the other side of the coin where you have this like kind of high stakes high adrenaline fueled kind of combat where you can really kind of get your hands dirty and fig figure out uh really cool combos and um you know figure out how to how to you know some of the behavior of some of these creatures like these uh these pigs i know that like you always want to just flip over to the other side of them and that's the best way to take care of them the birds um i usually if i can get them when they first appear in a group like that i'll do my little spin attack and that usually takes care of all of them so you like you oh that rock is really out there so you, you learn these things over time and and they really do a lot to make you appreciate uh, and you can see now now that nighttime has descended um, we, we are uh, you know we are in trouble so basically if any enemy appears here it's gonna be a nighttime demon and they are like almost impossible for me right now to kill but that's okay I pretty much got everything I needed from that level so we'll head back home It does, uh, it's interesting, it starts you off here every time you come home. Um, if you're curious over, actually, we'll just go ahead and enter. This is a, um, zone for training, basically. So, like, you can spawn in a bunch of enemies and then, like, you know, test out some combos and stuff risk-free. Um, so that's, you know, that's that. This, uh, th she's not gonna be in here, but this is a house I just finished building that, uh, for... Um, one of the humans that is very good at uh, sewing so she's now gonna offer to um, Make me some new clothing that that'll benefit me in combat But I need resources for that specifically as well, right? Here's the smithing shop So I'll have to bring in resources for them to build me new equipment. We can have a quick look at that uh, As soon as I pass through the night, but we want to make sure that we are Getting all of our weeds done and I, I like this, you know, like it, it's it's got a I don't know how to put it. It's got that kind of Animal Crossing feeling, a satisfying feeling of, of long-term maintenance, you know? Like, there's a satisfaction in tending to this field and making sure that it's it's well tended to. Making sure you're doing everything right, making sure there's enough water, um, that there's no weeds that the fertilizer is good this is a it's a really nice little kind of management sim that we've got going on and then we've got like every part of this is like not taken for granted so like we want to make sure we're processing our ingredients so we could uh process dried pork um out of the the meat i got from the pigs if i don't do that they'll spoil uh so we want to make sure we're doing all of that uh, here is we can make some pickled dry plum if I use up some salt, but I only have one plum I, And this is interesting. I actually didn't know that we can change ingredients Not sure how that works. So that's another thing. I have to figure out later We can make some dr uh, pickled dry plum sure and then those are all things we can um, Add to the menu so right now we are just eating water that is our meal right now. And obviously that's not giving us any buff to our stats. So let's see if we can improve on that. Um, so the first thing we can do is uh, have some root crops broth. That'll increase our health for the next day. Then we can, um, well, let's see what our other side dishes offer. Roast sparrow meat. That'll add us, uh, give us some more magic. I don't know how much I'm really using magic. Uh, these are all fun. So why don't we do some dried pork? Um, then we can do some blanched acorn that will improve our magic Maybe our fullness. Maybe we just have some more dried pork. I don't know if they stack. I don't think they do But uh, it does look like it stacks the natural healing 
and that's actually when i left the stage and came back that's sort of what that means so like after you leave a stage and come back you'll gain a little bit of your health back so that's you know very helpful we can improve our luck um but i think this is good enough if we had actual rice, like I've, I've uh, gone through all of our rice, but it, it uh, added a lot of fullness. And that matters in the sense that like after you've done a couple of levels in the day, your character will be like, oh, I'm hungry. And now you've you no longer gain the benefits of the meal. So having more fullness will mean that the meal will last longer. It almost uh, I got to say, it almost reminds me of um, Monster Hunter in some ways. The kind of methodical nature of preparing the farm, then preparing the meal, then preparing your equipment um, in order to, you know, hit the hit the fields, hit the hit the combat it does kind of remind me of that monster hunter meticulousness. Mirth, you came to Yanato as a missionary of uh, Formos, yes? What has your pilgrimage been like? What is the matter? My Yanato journey, not fun. Oh. In every country, at first, outsider is hated, but in Yanato it was big hate. I preach in many town together with priest. Priest worked so hard, Yanato language hard, but he spoke many true things. Most people speak bad of us, throw rock, spit, it very hard. Uh, sometimes the, they're nice people when priests find people they can talk with so happy, but when believer of foremost increase temple hate. For Yonato people, temple more important than Formos. When temple people say this, then everyone can be nice, cannot be nice to us. At hardest time, did not even have house. Yeah, sounds like the Yonato I know, Kenta. Uh, idiot samurai, how dare you ask her such a thing? How do you intend to cast off the pal, pal you have set upon our mealtime? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I want to apologize on behalf of all citizens of Yanato for all the mistreatment and disrespect you endured. Ni, nee, Taoman not apologize. If you grovel for every bad thing someone else did, you'll be eating dirt the rest of your life. That's just how Yanato people are. They're all good for nothings. I not think so. People have bad heart, good heart, both. People who throw rock at us may be nice people different time. No people, no both sides, very important. And Yonato not only place where people afraid when first see Formos. Other peop uh, other country too. What is this all of a sudden? No, I just remember. She's laughing. I get thrown poop in every country. Wow, <laughs> that's really funny. What? Different country, different life and people. So why every country throw poop? Every country in that one thing. They're laughing. Please stop. You, poop, poop. Ugh. I hereby withdraw from this fecal fra fracas. They, uh, they really went for it, huh? Rest until morning. We'll see how the uh, rice are doing. We'll get a full, and you can see we're getting a full report every time. Uh, of how well the rice are doing. Oh, a dog. Is that Shibu Inui? Inui? I, how does he say it? Inu? Shibu, Shibu Inui? I can't remember. Uh, I have not seen that dog before. Did you bring it here? Yeah. How rash. There are demons lurking. Just. Fao, Sma, Ve, E. Unintelligible as always. He said, I found him by the pass. He's smart. He can evade the demons easily. Oh, yeah? He said all that, huh? Understood all of that? It's not a very fun gift, you know? Hmm. Still, dogs are useful creatures. You all may be able to venture outside if you take him with you. Maybe, but that still sounds scary. Then we shall have that fool samurai act as our test subject. With his physique, he can surely endure a moderate a level of abuse should things go awry. Even the dullest tool in the shed has its use. Fair point. Let's do that then. Interesting. Dispatch the Taomon from the world map for gathering. Oh, interesting. The game throws a lot of new mechanics at me, and I'm sure there's more to come. 
In fact, um, even when I was planting the rice, I noticed I gained an ability to see a grid across the field that made spacing the rice apart from each other a little bit more um, easy to figure out. Because they, they just tell you in the beginning, ah, they're too close or they're too far. They're okay. But uh, it's only after you've done it once that you see the grid and you're like, okay, now... now uh, Sakuna themselves is actually having a easier time figuring this stuff out. So the game, it's just, I, I am really impressed by this game. It's, I think, maybe my favorite farming game ever. And I'm including Stardew Valley, and I really like Stardew Valley. So it's up there. Uh, of course, not everyone is going to get the most out of this game because... You know, if you are seeking a cozy experience like Stardew Valley, you're going to be maybe off put by the combat. And if you're looking for purely a high level combat game, you're maybe not going to get the most out of, you know, this aspect. Oh, interesting. So that's something I didn't know. In fact, it's telling me 33. So I'm not really sure what... Um, there's still more to learn, I'm sure. Maybe they'll tell me now. Well, it's still telling me to let out some water, so... I'll I'm sure I'm sure I'll, I'll get to know this a bit more as I as I spend more time with this Honestly, I would love to do a playthrough of this for the channel, but no one would watch that. No one <laughs> no one and I think that's a shame uh, Oh, yeah, we got to spread the fertilizer, but uh, you know, it's it's just it is how it is. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get beefed out about it, but um you know, I think this is just a really lovely game, and I'm very, very glad that I discovered it. But anyway, this is D uh, Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. I really encourage you to check it out if any of this looked uh, interesting to you. Um, you know, let me know. I I I'm not going to do a playthrough. I'm not. It would just do horribly. But, uh, you know, let me know. Have you played this game? And... Uh, what did you think of it? And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more of this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.